what is going on YouTube horror here and I'm gonna be bringing you guys a tutorial yes a tutorial on graphics I don't think I've ever done a tutorial on graphics on my channel I have done some on like black ops 2 even though I'm terrible at it but uh, I just like to help you guys out I know like normal people do tutorial Tuesdays and it's not Tuesday when I'm gonna be uploading this but I didn't I, I don't have time today for speed art because I it's unimaginable how much homework my teachers have given me today and basically the whole week that's why I don't really have time to do speed arts and stuff and plus I have sports and stuff but let's get on to this uh, tutorial it's gonna be um, the displacement map and I know a lot of people know how to do this but some of the amateur designers um, don't know like all the stuff that um, the more advanced or um, more experienced is a good word for this as you know some of the amateur designers but um this um, displacement map will be in the description so let's get on to the video what it what it is is basically you're gonna get your um you're gonna get a 3d uh, render and it's kind of gonna make it grungy splattery kind of um but this is what it'll look like when you get it it'll just be named displacement um but I'm gonna open up my most recent lava render I like that's really the only time I really use it but it's helpful on some other things and you're just gonna open this with Photoshop and um you don't just open it and you know it does whatever you actually have to do a few different steps so what you're gonna wanna do is I'm just gonna make a new layer and just make a white background okay so you're gonna wanna ha I'm just gonna rename this render okay so you're gonna wanna duplicate this okay and you wanna make sure this render copy is selected and then you're gonna go up to uh, filter and it's the tenth one down it's distort and then once this tab opens up click displace and then my settings and a lot of other people's are you do 25 for the horizontal scale and 25 for the vertical scale and these the displacement map and the undefined areas those are usually default to stretch to fit and repeat edge pixels which are good settings that's what I use I've never really played around with any other settings so that's what I'd recommend for you guys to use and you're gonna click OK and then you're gonna want to find your um, displacement map that you downloaded from um, my video and you're gonna wanna find that on your computer and click it and then just click open and right now um, it does not look good at all and it's kind of um, not overlapping correctly so you're gonna want to make sure that's selected again and you're gonna kind of want to um, you know move it to where you think it should be like all lined up on the edges and everything so you still want this selected and what you're gonna want to do is go to the brush tool and 50 is a pretty good size and I would recommend using the fuzzy tool I, or the fuzzy brush I mean because that's how it blends in good on the edges and stuff so it doesn't look like it's just kinda cut off and so I would recommend not using um, the hard round um, brush use I call this the fuzzy one so or soft round that's what it calls it so you're gonna wanna click off that and then you're gonna want that select it once again and you're just gonna kinda wanna go around the edges you know all around the edges it doesn't have to be I mean I would recommend you guys doing it good but I'm just going quick for the sake of the video you know you don't have to have it exactly I'm just gonna sorry I, I undid that I kinda wanna make this look good I kinda make it just go everywhere you know I don't like to have it like completely erased and then all of it is coming out you kinda want it a little bit in like the actual render and stuff it'll make it look a little better but basically this is what it's gonna look like guys I'm gonna rename this displacement 
Okay, so you can kind of see if you, I don't know if you, the quality of this video is good, but you can kind of see it's just basically the outline of the whole render and a little bit on the inside. But this is basically what it looks like. All it is is kind of making it splatter out, sort of, and maybe a little bit on the inside you can put, it's kind of a grungy look. I like it, I like to use it mostly for lava, my lava style, because it looks very good with mine, and I your lava style if you have one or even 2d i'm pretty sure you can use this displacement map for two uh two dimensional graphics and you know i would recommend this mostly for um lava style but any other 3d it probably looks pretty good with i've never really done that much of other 3d but basically guys that is it you can play around with the settings and the displacement map as much as you want but, um, guys, I'd just like to thank you guys for almost getting me to 1K already. I'm at about 930 su subscribers. And I'd just like to thank you guys for that. And get me to 1,000, guys. And there will be some crazy stuff going up on my channel, guys. So I'd just like to thank you, um, for almost 1,000, guys. And this is Horror here. Peace out.